You see, Irvine was a Cinderella story of the NCAA tournament, but tonight it's not the team's dream season that has people talking. It's a comment by the coach. Kick it on Stacy Butler is live in Irvine with more on the story tonight. Stacy. Yeah, Jeff, they were on a pretty amazing run. The UCI basketball coach led his team here right into March Madness. But the only thing people are talking about tonight is how he taunted one player from Oregon on the court. Take a listen. I would say a double team queen to try to see if I could irritate him. And I did. In his post game admission yesterday, after his loss to Oregon in the second round of the NCAA tournament, UC Irvine basketball coach Russell Turner had no idea that his taunting of Oregon freshman forward Lewis King would blow up on social media. We were calling him Queen because I knew it might irritate him um, because of how important he is to their team, like a queen in chess. But that's not how King's mom took it. On Twitter, she demanded a public apology for her son. A following on social media agreed. Today, she got one. On the UCI Athletics website, Coach Russell Turner wrote, I recognize my actions were inappropriate and insensitive. I have spoken to Lewis, his parents, and to Oregon's head coach, Dana Altman. They have graciously accepted my explanation and apology. And I regret that my actions during the Oregon game did not meet the standard of leadership I should consistently set. For that, I apologize to the UC Irvine community, including the student athletes and coaches of our men's basketball program. As a student athlete myself, on the men's tennis team here, I think it's just a little disappointing. Some things like racism, sexism, like anything in that general area, just, that's not tolerated. Tonight, the Oregon men's basketball team tweeted all parties accepted the apology and are moving past the issue. But the director of policy at the LGBT Center of Orange County said the apology isn't enough. When coaches um, cross the line, um, it's not okay just to say, I'm sorry. They actually have to come out and do something. We have to stop letting these things slide by when people are using comments that attack a gender as a way to demean somebody. And LGBT advocates are hopeful that this incident will now spark uh, more advocacy, sensitivity training for coaches and teachers. That's the very latest from Irvine. Back to you in the studio. All right.